Welcome to Callum Connects, five minute entrepreneurial inspiration for your day. Joining us today on Callum Connects is Yamalet Kano. Yamalet is the founder of Louder Global, an international communications agency. An entertainer at heart, Yamalet has been a public speaker for over 15 years. She is also a communication coach, leadership trainer, mentor, and confidence maker. A hurdle I have faced as an entrepreneur was, and it still is perhaps to have too many ideas and interests that sometimes it seems complicated to narrow down the most important ones and decide how, when, and where to start. And which ones make more sense to spend my energy and time for better results. I like to call it the ever-moving mind of a creative and passionate entrepreneur. Always full of energy, emotion, and motion. Great assets to have. However, if they are not channeled properly, they could certainly become a hurdle. Imagine getting all these wonderful ideas at once and not knowing what to do with them. So, from my experience, I have a couple of things that have helped me to channel and narrow down these ideas and interests. First of all, when I started my journey, I looked up for a mentor and a career coach. They both help me deeply in different ways. For example, the career coach, she gave me so many different exercises where I was able to really narrow down which of the things that I liked were hobbies and which ones had potential for a business opportunity. The mentor, she has helped me to talk about and discuss all of the elements that I have from my past experience that I can put forward and create unique value proposition for my clients and different audiences. Putting together my experience from the events industry as a ballerina, a public speaker, and creating something unique and that makes sense and resonates with me and hopefully with people that are seeing, listening, and having the experience with Louder. Secondly, I have learned how to balance and embrace both the power of yes and no. Saying yes to everything all the time, it might not be the best idea. Because as you may know, us entrepreneurs want to say yes, 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 yes. And we are running like headless chickens because we feel that that's the way to be successful and to help our businesses move forward. However, if we don't take our time to stop breathe in, have that intention, and then speak out with that same intention and love, we are not able to lead and create impactful messages and results. So knowing when to say yes and knowing when to say no has been very important for me to narrow down all these ever coming ideas. And last but not least, is to ask, ask, ask. Ask for help. Not being afraid asking for help because you could see and will be very surprised the willingness of others to help you. And secondly, ask for feedback. It's very important to ask for feedback to know if what we're doing and working so hard on is resonating with others. All of this has helped me to narrow down the creativeness of being an entrepreneur and having a wonderful journey ahead. I am Jamilet and I am Loud. If you enjoy learning from entrepreneurs, just do a search for Callum Connects in Google. I've done deep dive interviews with more than 1,500 entrepreneurs and business leaders so that you can learn from them.